Office of San Jose with DCTV News. We are here at San Jose at Big Wild Event, and we just went through there, all the comic books, all the toys, all the animals, all the costumes. We'll be back with more after this. <laughs> Mr. Carruthers, I will be mayor. I'll be the most powerful man in Hill Valley, and I'm gonna clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. Hmm. Mayor Goldie Wilson. I like the sound of that. And we're here with Don Full of Love, Mayor Goldie Wilson from Back to the Future. So let everybody know what's going on here today at your table. I'm just meeting and greeting the fans, signing autographs, having conversation with people, just enjoying being here in beautiful San Jose at the Big Wild Comic Fest. So what brings you here? The Big Wild Comic Fest. All right, so like, you know, your table, so, you know, you got the machine here, you got Doc Brown in the back. Yeah. So what is your organization or the things that well, you have on I'm, your I'm, I'm, What happens is uh, my good friend over here, Paul owns a DeLorean, and he takes a DeLorean all around a bunch of different shows uh, to, to um, the, for the cause of exploited and missing children. He does this thing called the fireball run with the, uh, with the car. And he goes to all these events and he makes uh, you know, donations and stuff like that. And sometimes the people from the film will come with him just to you know, represent Back to the Future. He'll have some of the real actors from the, uh, from the, mil from the movie come and I'm one of those guys today. All right, so uh, in the film, like, you know, how old were you when you got the role at the audition? I was 30 years younger than I am today. <laughs> <laughs> for people that are trying to get acting out there, what would be your message for the people that are just getting into that field? Well, as with anything, you got to train to make sure you know you got a skill set and uh, go out there and chase your dream and, and perseverance. Because the bottom line is, you got to persevere. You got to keep. You got to keep going. Because it's uh, it's a hard profession to break into, but if you have the desire and a little bit of talent. You know, you'll right, make so, it. So how did it feel, you know, to see yourself on the big screen? Do people believe you they're in movies or whatnot? It, well, it's kind of weird because I've been in show business since I was 12 years old, so I've always seen myself on a big screen or a television or something. So when, as far as Back to the Future was concerned, it wasn't like a, a really big deal, other than the fact that, you know, Steven Spielberg was involved with it. That's what made it, you know, a big deal. So um, learning the story and the background of this thing, how, do, how was the story for you for Back to the Future? Well, obviously, it was one of those types of stories that is has, is timeless. You know what I mean? I mean, we're next year we celebrate the 30th anniversary, and you figure 30. Uh, you figure 30 years ago, the majority of the people in this room weren't even born yet, but yet and still, they all know about the movie. I had one little kid come up here. The kid was about four years old, knew who I was, and knew about the movie. So, the story. The story, man, I don't care what year it was made, the story was very compelling. It's human interest story. And it stood the test okay, of time. Yeah, so, um, anyways, um, can you say a phrase from, um, from one of the parts of the, in your lines of the movie? Mayor Goldie Wilson. I like the sound of that. <laughs> there you go. All right, there you guys have it here at um, San Jose with um, or DC TV News, where Alana Jose here at Big Well event. Mayor of Hill Valley, he had to worry about traffic problems. But now, you don't have to worry about traffic. So this is Alana Jose with DC TV News. We're back here at the Big Well event at San Jose. Everybody's having a great time. It's time for us to go. And this is Alana Jose with DC TV News.